Um, YouTube, hello. We took a little break because I was feeling under the weather, but we're back. And today we are playing a murder mystery game that Sega put out last week about solving the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, good lord. Um, so we're gonna tech. We're gonna check that out today. Um, I've played it for. I played it for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we're gonna give it another go here. Um, if you guys are enjoying the stream, remember to do all those th or the the vods and the shorts. Remember to do the things that YouTube likes you to do. Comment, subscribe, all that stuff. All that stuff is good. All that stuff is great. Um, and we will see you guys in a little bit. Bye bye. Yo, chat, we're back. Uh, YouTube, we're back. Um, let's do this thing. I'm excited. I'm excited to do this again. Um, bop, bop, bop. Great. Um, no. Oh, good. We are starting over. Hell yeah. Who made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule? So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll assign my name here. Uh, Arch. Oh, Arch. That's my name. Arch, did I spell that right? You, you, you know, it's four letters, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. I hope passengers can read my scribbles. Can you guys hear me? Everything good? I'm a little worried that the game is going to be with the thing that made Streamlabs uh, freak out. Oh, am I nervous? Is, is, this, is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. I mean, come on, Arch, shake it off. Slap. Arch, should I uh, see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Uh, quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Flirt with you immediately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog visual novel. We're gonna flirt with everybody. Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Hey, thank you for subscribing. Hey, look at that, four months. Thank you, guys. We're gonna have to get some subscriber badges for you guys soon. Uh, alas, today is my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia. Locked. Spagonia what, dude? Spagonia what? Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Ha 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 ha. can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today is our, your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for it today. Menu, add it to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I received. I should look over the menu carefully. Oop. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon bleu. Oh, it's instant ramen. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Ha 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 Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, what is spicy grilled picky? Picky. Not exactly Michelin or Michelin stars. Yeah. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu. Okay. A little bit about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. I've had a lot of adventures together me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. Chat, what kind of animal do you think I am? I'm just like a vague... Like, I am like... I am... <laughs> like, I am just animal... Am I like a badger or like a squirrel? 
This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A fox puppy. Yeah. The murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So you'll need to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Do you understood? Oh, I'll take care of them, all right. I'll take good care of them. <laughs> what is... Picky is a sentient pig character in the Sonic universe. That's a grilled person. We're gonna have some of the long picky. <laughs> I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. I can't afford to lose this job. You sure can't. Severance pay is lousy. Oh boy, and again, doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Oh yeah, chat. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, there's Amy. Look at tails. Wow, this train is incredible. What fantastic tech. Fuck, what does Vector sound like? Vector has, like, an annoying voice, doesn't he? It's like, ma ma ma. Right. You're right, Tails. I could get used to staying on a train like this. Oh, that killed me. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Oh, there's Idris Elba. You guys, Idris Elba's on the train. Calm down there, Ro Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Who's a pen, knucklehead? Who's going to miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? You are literally stuck with a cast of characters. My dude. Get a hold of yourself, Arch. You're sweating through your uniform. Oh. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Arc, of course, sir. Radio, friend. Radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait till I announce everyone's roles to get food. Ha! <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. He's dressed for the Playboy Mansion. Sonic's trying to get into the grotto later. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. Join me, Arch, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, look at all their costumes. Chat, who should we talk to first? I think... I think we should... Who should we talk to first, chat? Ru you want to talk to Rouge first? Okay. No reason. Oh, yeah. No reason. No, no reason for talking to Rouge first. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward? Let me fetch it for you. He just gives it a big sniff. He's like... Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the judge, best at judging character. Alright. Uh... Oh, there's Shadow. Look at his little play suit. Shadow's getting dropped off at Jimbery by his mom. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. Stare. It's so cold. So sexy. 
Arch of Shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, all right. Let's talk to you. Is this cat? Is it? What's her name? I have your ticket put. Oh. No, oh, thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Blaze. Okay, that's her name. Blaze. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? You don't mind me asking. Are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I admit I'm a bit excited. But, oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. I cannot win with this group. Okay. Uh, let's talk to... Idris Elba. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Oh, I think that's a ticket. I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Uh, Vector. Hello, my friend, can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you... I'm kind of doing Danny DeVito. I'd love to show you my ticket. Seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. I botched it. I botched it. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. It's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. You unzipped him. You unzip me. It's all coming out. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. If he doesn't have his ticket, he shouldn't he's not allowed, right? Shouldn't that be the rule? Isn't this when Indiana Jones comes and throws him off the train? No ticket. Uh Oh, he's dressed like Leon. You guys, is he's cosplaying as Leon from our playthrough. Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. I hope you... Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Just calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. Consider me calming. He's looking right at me. <coughs> mm, excuse me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling on walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. I don't think ninjutsu lets you cling to walls. Ooh, cupcake hand. Ah, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Arch, those are for our guests, you know. Train. <laughs> That's the band train. Be sure your arch only gets one of those if they ask. And Arch, have you met Virginia? <laughs> yeah, I'm just nod. Actually, uh, train the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Ah, good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You have to work harder than that to get what you want. Draft. Snacks look really tasty, too. Uh, talk to Amy. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee, why certainly. Thank you, miss. Thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Oh, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. <clears throat> oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. Use this wisely. I will use... What? Wait. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. I think maybe that was supposed to be wheel... Can I get your ticket, youngin? 
Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Is that like, uh... No, oh, I'm getting, like, Butters flashbacks here. It's my goo. No, th no way. Brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Ha 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 ha, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Oh, you just gotta talk to the, uh, the man of the hour here. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did! Can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train. Sonic, have fun now. Y yeah have fun now. Will do! Thanks! Is that everyone? Oop. Uh, okay, wait, we talked to Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, uh, Ninja, Leon, Vector. Yeah, that's everybody. Are we done? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, what's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to the rightful owner. Oh, no, no. Let's make sure no one uses that ticket as a napkin. Excuse me. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Oh, it's... It's Vector's ticket. Hey, man. Buy anything yet? We, well, we, we just might have what you need. All right, trying to show our friend here what we picked up. Let's unzip my pants. Here you go. Ah. Oh, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, old Arch here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Wait, who made me the microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Chair is making all kinds of noise today. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, huh, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time aboard the Mirage Express? Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Tell me! Just assist Arch if they need any help, won't you? Ah, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and the band train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Have a phenomenal time. Hey, does Vector have, like, blood on his clothes already? He has, like, blood. Do you see? There's blood on his clothes. For everything else, please talk to Arch if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. This doesn't make sense. Lore cards aren't read aloud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Uh-oh. Don't say that, Sonic. Don't, don't, you don't know what you're agreeing to. Don't just say that. 
Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. You're both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Huh, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. Okay. That maybe, that, uh, that accounts for his dirty clothes. But it's a little, it's a little on the nose. Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. Espio, that's his name. And do what? Read? Maybe we can uh, make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Huh. And I, last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, okay. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer amongst you all. A murderer can kill a single participant, however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate the fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everybody's excited. Everyone to your stations. Ah, this is so exciting. Mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Uh, I know, it's kind of sc 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 scary. How thrilling, I have goosebumps. Uh, it's sc scary. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Okay. Okay, chat, I'm going to take notes. So according to the rules of the game... Sorry, so we have Sonic... Tails, Knuckles, Amy, uh, Blaze was the cat, and then we have Rouge, Vector, uh, es Espio, and Shadow. That's a lot already. That's a lot of things to... Okay, so... We know that it's not Amy and it's not Tails. We can say that right out the gate. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way there's always a neutral party. That makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows except the person who received them. <laughs> oh, God. My backstory is I was best friends with a flicky. That's what a flicky is, chat. It's a bird. That decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. I'm not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish she wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh! The train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something. What's going on? Oh, I'm slipping! Hold on, I, I can't! Ah! No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, ch chat. Oh no. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Uh, is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach those incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth this experience, that's for sure. 
was actually intended. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about, me about this in the interview. You should go check on the others. Arch, could you get the door? Of course. Huh, it seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way. I'll start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she'd wake up for us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks, and I'm going to need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check everything you can around this closet, and we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. All right, so this is the gameplay loop. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Hey, remember when I said this? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? <laughs> you can count on me, Tails. <clears throat> I'm going to turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Have it here. Now let's get searching. Okay. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty, but on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? All right. Shelf blocking your exit. It's not budging. <clears throat> Arch, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Something the shelf could have fallen into. I'm pretty sure this damage wasn't here before. This train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Check crack on the shelf. Ooh. Is this a rod? Zip is broken. It looks to be originally attached to something. Not sure if this is related to our mystery, but I like spinning around, so we'll keep it. Stick. I think we found enough clues. No, no, no. Okay. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. All right. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here, just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake for Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? <laughs> it's microwaved a chili dog. I think she attempted to escape. I don't think you're sitting here idly while Arch and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape. Help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Arch, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once it's been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. <clears throat> All right. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Bam. This one. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, follow this train of thought. How does the crack in the shelf relate to Amy? So I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? I would eat a chili dog. <laughs> Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad mix. He never loses. What, like an endless runner game? I play a lot of those on my phone. Yeah, sure, whatever works. Close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow this train of thought. Fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Oh. It's... Okay. Uh, arrow keys and space. Okay. Oh, there's, like, actual gameplay to this. Weird. Like, uh, like Dak on Rampa. <laughs> Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train like this one? A train? This well kept. The damage was here before we arrived? Well, I uh, believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit then? It was this thing. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Think!
Oh. Think. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own, but if it's attached to something it could, like, say, a hammer? Ack. This isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to do the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah. Uh, ah. So as you both said, I tried to get us out of here with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle slipped right off. I figured it was no big deal, and then tried to hide it. I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It's one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective. I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Let's tighten things here. A little, a little grease there. And fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Oh, God. Stand back! The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Wait, is that... <laughs> It can't be Sonic. Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Yeah, my time, my entrance, exactly right. You okay, little man? <laughs> Amy, wait. I'm gonna figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Oh, no. <laughs> Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What, what are you saying? I don't understand. I need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Arch. What do I do? Oh no. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Don't let them get fucking murdered. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave that care to you, Arch, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Oh god. <coughs> Oh, chat, that's too funny. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails to get to the bottom of this. Even if this is a part of the game, I can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, my God. That's so fucking funny. Oh, holy shit. The saloon car. Whoa, look at this place. Uh, Amy? Are you here? Tails, where are you? Arch, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Do you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha! Ha 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 He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easy. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Ronald's really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Of course. Sure. Now if you ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha, <laughs> fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. 
You ever catch me looking glum, though? Just know it's because, uh, where's my lower card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a detective without baggage. It's true. You, you varmints. What are y'all what are y'all doing in my saloon? Just trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Cough. Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and Nope. <clears throat> Nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's so obviously agitated about something. Why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. All right, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. It's so best get for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Clearly, won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Ah, uh, think it broke when the train speed when the train sped up. The damages look more than would cause. From the damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade. Something always hidden in the trash. Something was going to be in the garbage. Yeah, something eventually is going to be in the trash. Ah, a bowl of assorted nuts. Classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Something someone licked all the salt off of them. What? Blech. Maybe they're just unsalted. Arch, this is interesting. What's this? Just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Is Knuckles really thirsty? Arch, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups. We found enough clues to interrogate Knuckles. Hold on. Breath of views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, so I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the cars. What? We gotta talk to the hand. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? Fix it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh -oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Yeah, you're, you're fucked, buddy. I thought I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> I like your hat. Please don't beat me up. I like your hat. <sighs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, I'm going to flirt with all of you. Every person on this train is getting flirted with. I said, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Could you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said, leave. What now? Oh, please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Easily, It wouldn't be fun. I I bruise easily, too. I wouldn't be fun to fight, either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> Sorry, Arch. I wish you luck. It's me in my chat. It's not actually going to fight me, right? Uh, I'm not hungry. Okay. Oh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. All right, let's do this. Knuckles, Arch and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything off of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Arch, take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time the Sonic was murdered? Your cave machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? You punched a hole in it, you psycho. <coughs> Uh, doo -doo -doo. Huh. Oh god. Uh. 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 This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. A sudden urge to punch, huh? 
I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it. Arch, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Uh-oh. Do to fight Knuckles? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. All right, it's getting a little hectic. Uh, oh, no. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. Pulling it up now. Uh, vector. Nuck. Toast. Apple. Bread. Altum. Bagel candy. What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Hing. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You, complete, you competed with Vector to see if you could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. It's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Can I just bring up the cups? Oh, I jumped right on that. I botched it. Ah. Okay. This doesn't really control... Not enough rings. You have nothing? Uh, quick, Arch, let's try this again. Oh, God. Okay, so I can fail. That's great. Huh. I'm pretty sure I hit... I hit it a space bar there. Okay, we got it now. Now Arch proves Vector was here with Knuckles. With glasses. No! Thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, uh, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It says, you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour one and played the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the high score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. That's my story and alibi. I already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group's got a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. What of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here, too. <laughs> it's inconsequential. It's not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. We you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Understanding the scenario. Vector visited her to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Knuckles destroyed the machine. All makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Arch, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Oh, I know. It's this one. Old Tim. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Old Tim? Man, I know it, Arch. There is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. <laughs> uh, there's really someone here who goes by that. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing too much. Nothing sticks by you. It doesn't, bud. Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here, too. He taught us the game. It was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone, then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked behind locked the door behind him. So no one else after locking the door. 
That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. We have a lot of questions. What happened in the library? Did Cosmic to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? What was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO and Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. <laughs> I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Come on, Arch. Let's head to the library. I'm on it. This way is more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Arch! I'm coming. You varmints better pull up chalks, I say. Understood, Sheriff. Yeehaw. Ready to mosey on to the next car? No way, Dag Nabbit. Oh, wait. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, howdy, partner! You got it, partner. Onward. Oh, excuse me. Hang in there. Library car. Oh, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. Heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already. Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? Both too sweet. Thank you. Ah, oh, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. <clears throat> you want to join us in finding clues? Flattered, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. How are you going to leave? The door of the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Birthday key. Birthday girl is a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. Solve this case for anyone else. Whew, Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... <clears throat> Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved. I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle meat. And I'm Espio the Poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader. I'm meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. D D D D. Is that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. Uh, I'm, I'm satisfied for now. Thanks. <coughs> He's rhyming, I suppose. Arch and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we all were sent off, Ro I always want to say Rogue. It's Rouge. Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. When Amy told me and Espio to stay, I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Rector got bored, so we left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup in the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. And she went and searched the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure. Stand over there. She left back to the casino car, where Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, like a little, the little icons moving around. Because I'm not going to remember any of that. Shadow walked to the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. 
as he walked to the library car to get the casino car again, locking the door behind him. <coughs> Excuse me. And then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. Oh my god. When Vector came back, he realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. So the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. Sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one who told us someone murdered Sonic. Yeah, that's all that happened. All these locked doors. Seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat. If you return with any meat. I'll chop it up for you. If you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Your alibi seems solid enough. We still search for clues. We're looking for us evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. Tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. Let's poke around here. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Yeah, let's get a move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. Scavenging through the book titles excitedly. Looks like a kid in a candy shop. In this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. It's a user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. Huh. The globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. That sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes a scrumptious sandwich. <clears throat> I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. <clears throat> Anything in the trash? I'm sad there's nothing in the trash bin. Ah, uh, let's see what's over here. Oh, the brochures. Ooh, brochures. No travel destination ideas here. Like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Arch, look at this. There's a couple maps here. Seems to be a map of the library card. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. We take this brochure about a cave, too. Look, there's still lag tights. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Don't be sure it's my fondness for caves. Am I a bat? So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up, but... Rouge pulled a lot of these out, too, searching for something. Reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. Spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. All right. There's the hand. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess, either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. All right. Ka <laughs> Chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. Text below says, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see that. <coughs> so little Chow says, hang in there. Fuse and use his wings to fly to safety. Because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. This Chow can stick to his principles and find strength, and I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Alright, uh, let's click on... Fancy a poem. Can I get a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my ocean. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. <clears throat> I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled. Though I ignore the grumbly tummy for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs sunny. Oh, well... Wow, uh, we don't serve eggs on the train. My talent is wasted on you. Uh, okay. Let's talk, okay. 
Uh, poem about space. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace. So now my antique I must replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, though. Okay. Uh, sure. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Okay. I guess I should talk to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? Man of authenticity, tails, not a knife. I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. Not a butcher. I think you got a knife on you. We definitely think you're the murderer. Ah, uh, but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the same thing. <coughs> okay. Ah, uh, you made him a fool. <clears throat> What else is there to click on? Oh, the ta the table. Let's pause and sit for a second. The chair's very comfy, so plush. Puts you right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, it might rest my eyes a bit. Arch! No, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Okay, well. Interesting. Check the trash. I don't know what else there is to click on. Get a book club. Gone. Gone, gal. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going to the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked the door on the way out. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock. Okay. Alright, I thought I, I thought I would be trying to leave if I did that. So two of you don't believe us, huh? <clears throat> it's not that. I don't trust either of you. I just wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the, the validity of your alibis. Arch and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles? The Fespio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to prevent evidence if need Oh, that's easy, I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd check it out. Seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. So that brings our attention to you, SVO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and then left. You said you immediately started reading. What were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once SVO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Must have been a good read. What was the book? It's smut, isn't it? You're reading a smutty book. Aspio doesn't know you that detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? Smut! Filthy, filthy smut. If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Arch, can you help me out? Alright, Arch, what book do we think Aspio might have been reading? This one. A manual? You think Espio was reading the instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think. Oh, I gotta think, chat. Boy, I wish this is what it was like when I was thinking. Oh. Oh, jeez. Get over. It's like whirling blades. What is this? There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves are all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to details is normally like you, Espio. Hey, now, I won't have you insult my pal like... Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book. I was reading the Mirage Express manual. Trains are cool. SPOX traits. 
In that case, we'd like you to ask a few questions with the manual. Arch, if you don't mind. You ask SP some questions with the manual. Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove that he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? 362. Oh, okay. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist on keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up the trash and messes afterward. I remember the conductor saying the train could clean itself, although I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Robotic arms goes to detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. Somebody asked you to ace that question. Arch, hit him with another one. Okay, which page do I choose? 89. What is the Mirage Express cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Arch. Let's see if Ezra can go three for three. 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. Remember, this train is an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now that I pass your little test? No. Hate to say, but no. I'm just goofing. You passed. I completed your tests with ease. All my efforts only to please. But you joked and japed, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. All right, man. Jeez. All right. Bars, right? Clearly read the manual. This answer is far too specific to be guesses. <clears throat> you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit that reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered my questions so calmly, it's very impressive. No, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Hector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. We definitely read through the manual. I suppose we can... Yes, was that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yeah, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. We do? Arch? This puts me on the spot. Okay, Arch, think. That. No, oh, sorry, chap. Shout us lock. Please, pray tell. What has this to do with anything? We're up, Arch. Let's get our argument together. Oh, it's time to think. Getting any rings. Ah. Oh. All right. <laughs> and it's just like real life. That did it. Shadow walked through the library card to get to the saloon card where he set up the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car. Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book, but I didn't notice Shadow. Telling me the sound of doors opening, closing, opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, yeah, you see. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. 
So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment you were really in the li were you really in the library li 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 were you really in the library car at all? <clears throat> but how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors, and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Arch. What I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. My cool demeanor is vanishing. I'm so involved in my book, I didn't know Shadow passed back to the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you were really there for Shadow to see your reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I, I didn't. Why doesn't it seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Is Espio simply sitting, reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails when he's on to something. I'll let him continue his line of questioning and... Arch, my favorite and beloved employee, please... Protect the passengers on board this train. They must be taken care of. <laughs> oh my god. The lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure I guess they're taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. <clears throat> we have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Huh. Alright, my fellow associate. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Alright, let's get my thoughts in order. Is the map? <clears throat> it's the only thing we haven't used yet. Oh my god. Uh... Oh my god. Oh! A lot of rings that I didn't get. Ow. Oh. Oh. We're thinking. We're gaming. The library map. Oh, I see. See, the exits are right across from another in a straight path. Shadow walked down a straight path. There's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could have Espio have been for Shadow not to have seen him? Oh. Here. Interesting, because that's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it, then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. There's a bookcase in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return then, Espio. There's no way you would have seen him. I apologize, but losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. You did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. There are plenty of questions for Ru Rouge. God. Especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through here earlier. That's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. Keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. Are we really doing this? Come on, Arch, let's see what's next. Sure you don't want to stay here and look at all the books a little longer? The mystery calls. I've clicked on everything already. Ooh, casino car. Oh, this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far. Everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I see you brought the microwave master with you. 
Please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're going to need the help. Blaze? <clears throat> All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They didn't tell me about a treasure in the interview. This is a part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles. I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right. Well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find the egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Yeah, man. Girl boss, gatekeep. Uh, everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the trains for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Chow egg is here in this train car locked in a safe. Okay, so the treasure's real, and it's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car. The safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. This train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Ah, uh, finder's keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of a problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the egg. We're not getting anywhere without the card's access card. Look at him. Uh, we need a plan to get that card and use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Seems like a fine business venture. Oh, our lower card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Arch, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. The only square here is you, Microwave Master. Uh, I just... Look, I, I have to keep my job. If I steal the egg, I'm going to get fired. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No! My cool and mysterious reputation. It's crumbling. That's me, every time I stream. Alright, alright, I'm in. I'll help. I suppose it'll be Blaze and Archer in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg. Ah, that's a ticket. Have it. Have you both on the team? No, we must plan. Oh my god. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Okay, access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. Security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard? I say distract. Distract him. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a very nice thing to say. Arch, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. I'm going to be in a casino. My poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Uh, obviously, Rouge. Of course, I'll distract him. Who could resist my feminine charms? Certainly not the internet. Uh, I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Okay. Uh, well, Tails can fly. Think you can distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice is so stoic. It chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Uh, ask the child about their partner and kids. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. The heist planning. The guard distracted. Rouge, how do we get the access card? Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key. No problem. That child in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card it's obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Arch, what's your plan? Uh, uh, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Then you'd be married into the royal family. What's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, uh, you dress far too plain. You need to complete refashioning immediately. 
You know what, maybe we should try something else. Interesting, you give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. Okay. Okay, so that's not it. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worth. Worth. Despicable. I've never allowed such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great. With the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. Just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... <clears throat> Celebratory dance. <laughs> oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that needs nice to do our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while. The arms are tightening their grip. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darling, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Everyone's ready. It's time to execute. Okay. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, that worked. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, and I must admit, it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Hold on. What could they possibly be storing in all of these? It's a casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too? Rings. You can find this lying about in the grass. That's no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the chow egg. It's probably this one, right? Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. No question. This has gotta be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code in the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 23, 4, A. That's when this game came out. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right, before anyone sees, let's get out of hit. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't think... I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Oh, good. It's ticking. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? This was made in a bomb factory. These are bombs. I think you're on to something, kid. Sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? It's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Oh, God. Uh, uh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Eat the egg. <laughs> Any salt I want. Really, Arch? Okay, uh. Kiss the egg. As they say, love always prevails. Still ticking. What a prude. Uh, take one for the team. Uh, open up. See, there's wires to cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire. You gotta cut it on, like the movies. This isn't a movie, Arch. This is real life. It's definitely real life. Uh, I take one for the team. Here, give it to me. Get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. <laughs> No, Arch, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to... Stop. The microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Okay, that's true. Let's think of something else quickly. Uh, uh, let, let it finish ticking. See what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? You dispose of the bomb, Arch. That's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't the bomb? Wait, that's right. Arch, I think you're onto something. Huh? 
What? Spit it out, kid. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting. We quizzed about the train manual. Did he? Robotic arms. Okay. Detect weapons or explosives. Those robot arms that attack us in the elevator have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought on the train disguised as this egg, the arms would have detected it and they wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So we're out of options. Things just wait and see what happens. We're gonna fucking explode, aren't we? Okay, we wait. Okay. Is it just a Fabergé egg timer? The egg, it opened. It's hollow. It's not a bomb at all. You both really onto something. Ew. My. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. E, look what's inside. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Well, I must admit, it's pretty stunning. Look at it. Look how stunning that is, chat. <clears throat> you said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. But they naturally died of old age and just kept a secret with them. Uh, as, as much fun as this has been, I think we've been spotted. We should go before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. We didn't do any mystery, though. No one seems to suspect anything. Security guards back to their posts. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? <sighs> Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. No, Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's, as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. You know, you know it, brother. Well, get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Another key. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we also have just much suspicion about Shadow. It's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. Door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Arch. Let's head out. We should make sure that there's nothing to click on in here, though. Yeah, play the slots. Yeah, play the slots. Yeah, play the slots. Yeah, play the slots. Arch, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm going to get it this time. You'll see. Yeah, play the slot. Can I do it? Can I win if I keep doing it? Will I win eventually? Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Sunk cost fallacy. The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it's clear that an abandonment would be more than beneficial? Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. All right. Big money. Big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right. Big money. Yeah. Come on. Let me win. All right, chat. One more time. Big money. All of you guys in chat. Hype me up in chat. Big money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Huh? Huh? <sighs> All right. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. Oh, well. Huh? That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with the casinos. He's an evil scientist. It's always caused trouble for us at Sonic. <laughs> I 
Every poker chip I've personally seen has had this Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. It's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised, then. Mm, that should be evidence, though. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play in any for fun. Well, you want to play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play it. It's easy. Let me show you. Arch, we do not have time for this. Sure we do. Thanks again for your help earlier. What can I do for you? Your alibi? I think you go over your alibi again. Yeah, okay. This is the dining car at the beginning. Okay. And then we have Blaze. Okay. All right, so they're 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 off the hook, I guess. And then she won a bunch of money, so hardly seems fair. Okay, Billy's robot arms are spectacular. I can't help but wonder why they're controlled. Oh, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. Or at least things operate much smoother with them here. I shouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, we must search the trash bin. It's empty. Oh, there no. I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. It's all about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that even when he met my mother, he would drive her to work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she when he, she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. In the year the two were married, it's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick. Yeah, like the leftover stick from the lollipop. That's all that's there. Arch, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Oh, hey, knights! Never gonna see that franchise again, huh? Ready to get going? Yeah, let's find Shadow. Since you don't want me to gamble... Now is the goodest time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get in a word as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Ah, I see you made it here, Tails, but I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. Nothing sounds more vile to me than... Because it would have to be, like, frozen, right? The way that they're talking. So it's a hot, a frozen hot dog in bun with frozen chili on top that goes into the microwave. It just feels to me like that would not be a delicious way to present hot dog. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Arch, it seems like Shadow is going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Arch. Arch, can you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason why you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Sure, why not? Alright, watch it, bro. Ah, God. All this dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. Oh, and then a little hand came out. Ooh. Tails, you see this? Pull string. Arch, it's got... What? It's got to activate something. What? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back there. It's curious. This must mean something, this must mean something big. It leads to the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick back to the passage before they spot us. Interesting. We need to add that to our inventory. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. It's an employee. Do you have any power with these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Uh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, Robot Arm, can you bring me a cold 
Chaos Cola. Oh, not listening to me. I'm quite parched too. Actually, me too. I could go grow water. I could run and get you Chaos Cola. Oh, thanks. I'm the one that's supposed to be working anyway. Oh, a printer. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat. Oh, huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface is very clear, but I won't let it stump me. There he is! <coughs> Excuse me. All right, print the other one. Yeah! Huh. Key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Excuse me. Computer? Told me about this in an interview. The lounge is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. It seems convenient. <clears throat> it's, it is. a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Wow, Tails, check this out. There's Big the Cat! Big the Cat! These winters are huge. Take a look. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. This train wasn't so nice. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I thought the same thing. We should kiss about it. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. But give us a jam. Oh, spiritual. I feel real awakened. They don't miss. These chow understand music. Arch can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Okay. Just making sure there's nothing else to click on. Glad you two finally caught up. Surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. I've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Can you please tell us? No way. Journalist reporter. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always the first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow. Talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious. But she seems confident. Well, we'll hold you to it. Oh, a question for Mua. You no, know, the journalist can't be the murderer, remember? We've learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, uh, birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. Interesting. Okay, so she's going to say the same thing. Sharing is caring. <coughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything else to click on in here. Oop. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. Ask the Alibi B. The stair is so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Arch, we certainly will not. Uh, I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little bit first? Something I can help you with. Okay. Can I take your order? I'll pick you up on that coffee. In the back of the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. All right, what else can we fucking click on in here? <laughs> the trash! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Arch. You've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Arch? There's always something in the trash bin. Uh, all right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> Somebody printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. 
Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are you sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Yes. Shadow, we have questions for you. We three get out. I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. And every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and I know why. Pray tell. Why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Oh, please don't. Amy, don't. Re don't. I'll get banned. Don't ban me from Twitch. I hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Alright, we're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where, shot, where Sonic was stationed. The door right here in the... Oh, wait. Shadow's locking on the doors for one reason, one reason alone. Keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow is trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the others. So no, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. My source can back up these claims, though. I'm ran anonymous, but I think the point stands. Who's revealing what now? Amy's revealing her hot tip. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Arch and I can explain the car change, however. Arch, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Why the secret passage? <coughs> Goodness. A lot of reading. I was hoping this was to be voiced. Oh god, there's bombs now. Sonic what <laughs> Sonic World me, why is why is your brain filled with explosives? try that again. Give it another try. Okay. Did it. Arshan, I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads straight to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Arch. Oh, let's adjust my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped off the body in the dining car. You officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am! But of course, that's just a theory. A game theory? I, uh, I don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Seems Tails and I were more, th more, well, Tails and I were more thorough than you. We, we fucking were. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Aspio and Vector not see him? Uh, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Arch, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Aspio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Well, Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Aspio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What? What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. 
spent time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Huh. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. <clears throat> Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Arch and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Arch, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Because this is a key party. Yay! Ah, ah. <laughs> They're all... Everyone's swapping partners. We're getting dirty on this train. Uh, it's these. The, them keys. That feels good. I had to get my thoughts in order. I have to think. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh... Okay, I... All right. Who just barely got that one. I thought you said this wasn't a dirty game. <laughs> All Sonic games are dirty games. All Sonic games are dirty games. There's only one reason why there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those are the two keys which Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? <clears throat> I won't go through Sonic 06 again. I won't. There's no human women to kiss. It's fine. If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all these doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Arch and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? No human women to kiss yet. That's true. You know what? That's true. Come here, Amy. I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. So I'm just being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Arch? Ah, yes. Tails? <laughs> I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. You know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the car's key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why do you lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? <laughs> not us, Arch. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow's trying to keep Amy away. <coughs> what? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. Shadow is not your friend. Look, I've played these games. Shadow is not your friend. You know, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, oh, how dare you, Arch? Show me evidence. Huh? Shadow's trying to keep me away. Prove it. It's so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Oh, um, okay. Tails thinks Shadow's trying to keep just Amy away. Why? Oh, mod appreciation day thing went through. <coughs> Maybe we'll just change that to a thank, general thank you to the mods. What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? This. That feels right. The tickets! Oh, boy. Oh. Things are popping off in my brain right now. What is happening? Look, I, I've had, like, attention deficit my whole life, and it's not this bad. Yeah. 
You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What's that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails don't... This is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is... Uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yeah, he, he isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time. They sell out of minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car shadow stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Hot honey, check it and see. The situation is coming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. <coughs> Chad, I'm sorry. Excuse me. The printout of the Hot Honey's ticket website exists because... Shadow's buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? You're trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Oh, the, yeah, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. The Shadow love Amy. Actually, Katie, you're going to be really upset. Shadow, uh... Shadow has a thing for a human woman. In Sonic Adventure 2, it's Shadow and a human woman. Uh, I can't believe this. After I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Is there an apology for all the times he tried to destroy the world? <coughs> God damn it. Fuck it. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Sorry, that's all a detective job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas, and I saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that an appointment you keep speaking of? The time you are able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to be here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. A birthday key. The door opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know. You guys, Katie. Katie is on the revelation of the, the shadow and human woman thing. She is just mean mugging me from through the doorway. I don't know if, uh, too late. It's happening. Ah, I can't wait. The show of the lifetime. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <clears throat> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who's the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. <coughs> Excuse me. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. We need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Arch, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture becoming clearer and clearer. I can't believe I got that news on Mod Appreciation Day. <clears throat> Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic. I mean, we'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right then, let's do it.
Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Yeah, um, in Sonic Adventure 2, you find out that Shadow was, like, grown in a lab and had, like... They don't, like, kiss or anything, but, like, he's very fond of the granddaughter of the, the guy who made him in the lab. I don't think they kiss or anything like that. It's not as bad as Sonic 06, but... It's kind of bad. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last I saw him was when we left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. <clears throat> I get to support kissing an alien versus predator. I can't support this. Let's fall over on the train sped up. I'm not sure. What does it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. We... <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Everybody's got a wife to love but Shadow the Hedgehog. Microphone, we could talk to the whole train with this. Uh, should I say something? Start beatboxing. Arch, why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Arch. Thank you for sharing. It's like you're really in the game. <laughs> This robot arm has been completely cut, torn off. Yuck, how creepy. The arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. <clears throat> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia. Spagonia what? With his wife. Hopefully they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yeah, I wish that too. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? You know what they say, I always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Oh, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. If the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board... Let's make a note of this. Blow dart. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this mystery once and for all. But wait. I didn't realize the robot arm is supposed to drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function like the conductor can. They teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Huh. You guys. Uh. No, I want to beat bots again. Let me beatbox again. Let me in! Alright. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We like Tails. Tails can drive the train. Notice these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I could watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. High quality screens probably didn't do you any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. A vent. That's a large one. It seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Why would that be a problem for you? Oh, the uh, tails, right. Uh... Well, you two, you think there's enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Arch? Let's do it! Hello, everyone. Birthday girl speaking. 
Please report to the conductor car at once. Everyone. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Arch. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Because he's fucking dead. Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? I'll still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. <laughs> oh no. Ready? Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. This train has so many many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Like a big ad. For like... <laughs> for like... Metra or whatever comes across Amtrak. Ah! Oh no, they found Sonic's dead body. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? <laughs> oh, it's funny every time... <laughs> <laughs> he he's not responding to us sonic sonic what is he hurt why isn't he moving sonic can you hear us he's banged up there's a pulse it's weak set him down vector make sure his head is propped up i'll help you i knew one of you would take this too far oh she's got the hammer out uh-oh which one of you did this to my, to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Has this really been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I ask again, which one of you did this? Uh, this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he's met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. He was real Sonic. He was really hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails. Someone should call James Marston. Let him know that his son is dead. It's Tails, Arch, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Okay. Let's think. So we know it's not Shadow. It, it's. I wonder if. Oh, let's just. Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits, you wish. I'd love to discuss things. Well, let's discuss. What? You're accusing Espio. We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Okay, restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Arch, can you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings in a... Yeah. Found a hidden passageway. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but I would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions on flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? True, you didn't miss a, didn't miss a question, but I think Arch and I can explain that too. Arch, how did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Oh my god. A ninja like him speed reads. That doesn't mean anything! Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and he's remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked up a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just guarantee yourself a clean alibi. Huh? That's absurd. <laughs> it is absurd. <clears throat> 
Excuse me, memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it's plausible. Espio's particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He wants to once he wants speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book for entering the hidden passageway, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. <laughs> Since we're only talking what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find it. Oh, Shadow. No. Oh. 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 Rouge. The blueprints. Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. Right here's the blueprints of the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I even saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Arch, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, he found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? The library car. <coughs> Sorry, chat. Stuff to the brochures. I checked the saloon car first and found the blueprints after leaving. <clears throat> so that means SVO had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, SVO looked at the blueprints and used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Amy's guidelines, the murderer can then kill Sonic. Right, okay, the logistics are so vague, but I should have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much can harm S... How much... I am unsure how much harm SVO caused Sonic, but Arch and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich, pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Blow dart. <laughs> now to form my argument. <clears throat> what would Sonic do? Uh, I think he would run in a straight line and pick up rings. Wow, that one was rough. Okay, rings. Up, 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 up. Ah. There's like zero margin for error. Up. Oh. Uh, let me try again. Ah, what the? Oh, this thing is so finicky. That's not it. Nope. I got hit too many times. I like how they're just like mean mugging me. They're like, get the fucking rings, man. What are you doing? Stop running into shit, you idiot. Ah, so close. One more time. Let me try that again. Oh, I think that's what I need to do. Just jump over the, the saw blades of death. Ah, okay. I have to play chicken with the, the saw blades. That's the... That's the move. There you go. Got it.
This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Oh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say. Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations. Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Oh, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails is on to something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors. And Espio didn't have a key. He would have to take, He would have had to have taken this hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Arch and I know another way it could have been done. We do? Uh, the blueprint? Oh, no. Okay. Come on, Arch. Fucking do it, you idiot. Oh, this is not it. Oh, I might get it. No, not quite. Big oof. All right, man. Fuck. Ah, just kill me. Let me die. Thanks. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Oh. By the skin of my teeth. Da -da -da -da. All right, let's take a look. Espio didn't take the secret passage to the dining car. Then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car. It goes all the way to the dining car. I didn't even see that. It's just in a long attic. According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path and the ceiling leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back there and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This is the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth did I get Sonic to that vent? It's the robot arm, but I have to think again. Probably could have had that. Let's try that again. Ah, shoot. says saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these arms was a casualty, but what if one of the arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms to use to continue through the vent. The robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed up from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. That'd be true. Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. The, flight, the fight had been between Sonic and the robot arms. 
I can see that. The arms are powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit, there, these are a lot of coincidences. Alright, I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Uh, Amy. You received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where the scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out that Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't... I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ah. Now you're lying to me? On my birthday of all days? Ah. Ah. I believe the murderer used the train car's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. Lied to Amy. Casting further blame on Shadow. For no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that only could have been one person. It was you, Espio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Oh, he's okay. Chad, he's fine. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, I'm okay. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, just as we solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's an non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train, but he was telling me I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. And when I took a look, I realized, all right, the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed, and he refused. The way the conductor was describing, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt the sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Good going, Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong, and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin-dashed right through the robot arm. Sliced it off at the rail. It was on. All right. Wow. I'm amazed. I was ama I'm amazed he's able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Oh, the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh, no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation's gotten so serious. Why wouldn't you just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. You crazy? This is a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <clears throat> I was just following the rules. Uses blow dart on Sonic. Stationed in the conductor's car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. See? What is that? All right. It says, use this blow dart on Sonic. Station the conductor car. Okay. Thank you for choosing the Those instructions. I was given the blow dart along with that cart. It's science staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Ugh. All right. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Arch, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The train. 
I believe something was orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First of all, the train's a bad neck. Now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is at, has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full of tent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. Come out and show yourself. Amy, whoa. All right. All right. It's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Everyone's just punching the walls. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Oh, all right. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools are too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? What? No. All right. After I deliver your annoying party right into his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails, like we always planned. I need... Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Hmm. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Whoa! Whoa! No, no! I can't get my footing. Ah! And then everyone died. No, we're okay. We're okay. You guys who are just joining me, thank you. We do silly stuff like this here all the time. My name is Kyle. I'm a variety streamer. You can hang out as much as you want. Feel free to lurk. We love a good lurk. <clears throat> ah, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Oh, my, my head. Tails. Amy. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Huh, okay. Sonic, I'm so, 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 I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hey, get in there. Seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. Where's everyone else? Great question, but for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me. I'm doing amazing. <laughs> wow, amazing, huh? You might not. You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Uh, I might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Oh, all right. Oh man. Wow, well, what's wrong? The windows are all covered up. I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. For all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great. So I still don't know where my wallet is. The doctor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. What was his ticket doing here? Maybe confuse a napkin for his ticket and a ticket for a napkin? Ha! I hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Hey, one of those arms are here, too. Swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before the arm swipes at us again. <coughs> that yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it's just showing us the weather. Ah, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Oh, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You on the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. All right, ignoring that. They said they didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. Converted some cargo trains into passenger trains. For the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess. Another death egg, Dr. Predictable. People fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. We're our friends. Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked up in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? 
Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. <laughs> you see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And to report to me if any of you happen to brawl aboard. The train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. Alright, so this confirms that the train is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bad nicks compete again, but once another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I in instituted a bounty upon my army of bad nicks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like the reward program, so you're done babbling, Doc. You never just win silently, can you? You're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever cross me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <clears throat> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train is the motivation of being made by Eggman, so not that powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so he could deliver us to Eggman. So the time we're all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been conduct captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. My fault here? I couldn't keep anyone safe. Hey. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. When negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here, helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap-before-you-think kind of guys. Okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. Gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The door's been heavily fortified. How do we get through? What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Ha! Now the road's clear. Nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting on the break after this. Ready to go? Give me one second. I want to make sure there's nothing else to click on in here. Alright, let's go. I'm ready! Chad, what a wild ride this has been. <clears throat> oh, God, we're going. Our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, Max and my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through that next door. Okay. Oh, I've got the little hat on now. Jeez. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm going to clobber him. Got to deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Oh, jeez. Just more of these. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, God. I'm so bad. I'm just going to doink on the wall. Start over. That's, we're not going to do it this time. That was, I hit jump. I hit jump that time. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, 
There it is. You all came for us. Of course. Let's let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Well, we got it. That's okay. Just don't hit the spikes. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to save us. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. He's doing it. He's starting to believe. All right, I think I did that one okay. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. I almost thought I didn't make that jump. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Ha, there's no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin, plans, begin my plans for Eggman Land. Probably another death egg. Don't teleport us to the future. Teleport you? Oh, to the future where I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that. Whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Ugh, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. That's it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Ow. Take it down by getting rings. Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. Don't fucking hit the spikes, you idiot. Gotta do it again. You hit every spike, you dumb shit. Now push it to the limit. Ah, fuck. Well. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave it like it was nothing? What do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. She's... Oh, all right. Throwing a lot of stuff at me right now. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? I'm not getting any of these rings. Oh. Hmm. I felt like I hit that button. There's so much. Ugh. Oh. 
Boy, I hope this is a long part, because there's not been a lot of opportunities. Why would I do that? Uh, okay. Nope. Oh my god. Maybe if I hadn't hit every spike. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this part's gonna take me a minute, chat. Excuse me. <coughs> Conductor! You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. I told you we'd be together forever. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. <clears throat> Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Ugh, coughing, Chad. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey. Okay. I would have had that. Oh, it's so frustrating. Okay. There we go. We got it. Yeah! <coughs> Boink. The Flicky! Or Flicky! It's just like the lore card. My ex-best friend and other detective worked to join after Eggman. It really is a bad mech. Stakes rise every second, huh? Gotta save him. I'm on it. Show our full power. You know, you guys keep saying, let's do this. I'm the one. Wow, this is a lot. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is... I was not expecting, like... the minigame in this to be, like, this intense. I need to try and get that um, capsule <clears throat> if I can remember where it is. It's right at the beginning. Okay.
Ah. Not enough rings, you dope. Come on, get better, you loser. Did that not? Oh my god. Oh, that's this isn't the run. <clears throat> okay. I have to hit the, the springs both times. And not, you know, do that. Ugh, I'm like... I'm like fading. This is tough. Be delivered to Eggman already. What about what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me selfish? How how dare you? Get some more water. Holy shit. 100? You crazy? actually wasn't that bad because it kind of gives you paths well that's not gonna do it it's like the train subconsciously telling you We got it. No, 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 no. I'll grab the flicky. Huh. Come here, friend. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. I'm sorry about all the coughing chat. It's a lot of talking. I thought this was going to be VO'd. Don't worry, Amy. I got you. <coughs> the train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. That was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... 
I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. I think our work here is done. Let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Oh, the train looks so fucked. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe is a unique way of doing things. <clears throat> Watch your step! Watch your step! It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh? Don't you love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. We've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> ah, you never, honestly, never believe what could have happened. So I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning. I need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Uh, an old friend, I think. Oh, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It's the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You're just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? Would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I'm sorry. We're cool. Now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, I'm starving. I forgot we never ate. Don't the clatter. I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station is a bakery, and look what I bought. A uh, birthday cake! Wow, got a custom cake really fast. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To the adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger with each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your, your viv vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. It's not, by the way. <clears throat> we love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but... But... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys will never leave me, right? You wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Oh, the little chow with the mustache is there. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Dad. Let's go, Dad. Train's never making it here, is it? Warbot, prepare a bath. <clears throat> the happy rubber ducker, the angry one. Angry. Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it! And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything is squeaky cle clean now. As for me, I stuck with it. And then, I won millions in the lottery. And after all that, I 
Managed to fly to space. Yeah, it's just been my life. Just like that. Oh, chat, that was fun. What a goofy game. <clears throat> what a fun thing for them to just sort of stealth drop. For April Fools. Um, Here, let's switch back over. Let's go over here. Uh, uh, my hair came loose. Um, let's go ahead and close this. Close this bad boy out. Uh, what a fun thing for them to just sort of stealth drop. Uh, for April Fool's Day, I think that's really funny. Um, so. YouTube, thank you so much for for watching this silly episode. Thank you for, or VOD. Thank you for putting up with my coughing. All of my coughing. Um, tomorrow, we'll be back. I don't know what we're playing tomorrow. Um, I'll tell you what. If you guys follow me on Twitter, which is the same, it's Archlich Archive on Twitter, and there's something that you think would be fun to do tomorrow, let me know. Um, and we will play something tomorrow. Maybe we'll play something with chat tomorrow. Huh? Do you guys want to play a game with me tomorrow? That could be fun. Uh, if you guys are new, thank you for being here. If you want to give me a follow, I would love it. If you want to give me a sub, I would really love it, but don't feel obligated to, obviously. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, YouTube, thank you so much, and we'll see you guys later.